Okay, hi, hello. So I am somebody who I would consider to be a bit of a neat freak. Nothing crazy, but like, I am just very sensitive to my surroundings and when things are cluttered and messy, I just feel a little bit claustrophobic. A cluttered space leads to a cluttered mind or whatever the saying goes. And luckily, I really like cleaning. And so generally, my room is clean. Not like sparkling clean, I live here, but like neat and organized. <sighs> at this moment in time, neat and organized are not words that I would use to describe the state of my room. Um, and the reason for that is that exactly a week ago now, an oral surgeon knocked me out and stole four of my teeth. He did let me keep them and I wasn't using them for anything anyways, so it's not like I'm too beat up about it, but it did really hurt. Uh, my face looked like this for four days. I ended up getting dry socket. It was just kind of a week it was unpleasant and painful and I didn't want to do anything let alone get my butt out of bed and clean my room. So that's why everything looks a mess right now. However, if there is one thing that a brief period of pain and unpleasantry bring about, it is gratitude. I am so grateful that I'm not in pain anymore and now that I'm in such a great mood, uh, I want to go ahead and clean my room and actually like take my time doing it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get cleaning. <laughs> really badly wanted to save this mint plant. I got it from the nursery just a few weeks ago, but as you can probably see, it's like covered in mint rust and I think that those little white things are mites. I am not really sure, um, but it's just not looking good. I've been trying to prune the parts that are affected, but I think that the whole plant just needs to go, which is really sad. I mean, it's just a plant, but I don't know, I'm sensitive. <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye, mint plant, you served me well.
Uh, I had to go to work, so it's a new day, um, but the room is still looking a lot better after that first preliminary clean, but it still just feels like there's a lot of stuff in here. Like, even though everything is in its place, it doesn't feel organized to me because there's just so much stuff and I know that I don't use all of it. So I am about ready to just declutter as much as I can to try and bring that down a little bit. Um, I also want to do some rearranging. Specifically, I want to move the dark bookshelf that is on the right side of my desk and switch it with the hanging basket and art supplies cart that is on the left side of my desk. Just because I feel like I'm always dragging the art supply cart over to the right side anyways because that's where I work and I just think that it would make more sense if I flipped those. But before I do that, I'm definitely going to declutter and I think that I'm going to start with um, the closet, which is easily still the messiest part of my room. I haven't touched it really since I moved into this space at the beginning of the year when I left college. So um, it's bad to put it generously. Um, all the clothing in there is clothing that I wear. I did a pretty thorough wardrobe declutter a couple months ago, more than a couple months ago at this point, and I still feel like the amount of clothes in there is appropriate. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know what it is. It's just been piling up every time I have something that I like don't know where it goes. I just like toss it into my closet. So I'm gonna go through that and um, hopefully that will make more room for other things to go in there. <laughs>
Okay, so we've made pretty good progress. Um, the shoes are much more organized. The space down here looks a lot better. And we've got all this empty space in the back of the closet. Um, those two boxes and this big rug, um, I really can't do anything about. They're not mine and I don't, our household doesn't really have anywhere else to move them to. But I still think that there's a lot of good floor space and empty space back here. So it's not a big deal. And I am going to <laughs> take this wonderful mess that I've made and uh, put it back in the closet now. <laughs> product. Um, obviously this space over here, uh, once my clothes are dry, this will be filled pretty much all the way up. The only reason that it's so empty is because, as we discussed, pretty much all of my clothes are dirty right now. My closet is never going to be like a beautiful Pinterest worthy, you know, work of art. Uh, I don't know what the situation with these boards of wood behind me are. I don't know why there's this weird seat in the closet. I don't know what is going on in here. Um, I assume that there's a reason for it. The house came like this. So I'm not gonna try and like pry these off the wall. I assume that they're there for some sort of structural purpose. It is what it is, but at the very least, I feel like I have room to breathe in here. Stuff isn't falling out when I open the door. It's like neat and tidy. And even if it's not pretty, it is functional and I'm very happy about that. I'm not scared of this space anymore and that is a really great feeling. So I think that I'm gonna uh, take that and move on to the rest of the room. Most notably, I've got this pile of clothing in the corner of my room. Um, this is all stuff that when I was doing my more thorough wardrobe declutter a couple months ago, I decided that I wanted to try to resell or like pawn off to my friends and after like it's been five months at this point this is the stuff that is still here that I haven't managed to sell. I'm kind of at the point where like I was never selling it for enough money to really make holding on to it for five months to be worth it so I'm just gonna donate it. Um, there's really no reason to keep holding on to it. Oh, but I'm so sorry to disturb you. I really am so sorry to disturb you.
which of my scrunchies to keep. <laughs> it feels like this thing is always full. I want less scrunchies, but I keep all of these. You're not good, you're just scrunchies. Well, these I think I've already, I've already selected which of these I want. Oh really, you're not keeping all of these. Hey! <laughs> Lupa! I'm, that's, I'm telling you. He knows. At least once a shot. He knows. This one's okay. I think I can let go of this one. I feel like one of the velvet scrunchies as well. The problem is that the velvet scrunchies are the ones that I used to sleep in. I feel like you wear this pink one. I do. I think. Actually, this white one is just so old, it's gross. Yeah, okay. And this blue one I'm on the fence about too, but I think I can look up this white one. Maybe the green one. Or maybe the green one. Okay. okay, I think these two can go. And this is a more reasonable collection. They turn into cap twice. That is the declared cap twice. You're getting rid of-
task is taking this hanging basket and hanging it up on that eave. I got that hook in just by like sticking a nail in the wall and then screwing it in just with my fingers. So I am hopeful that the same will work over here and I won't need to use a drill. mess. <laughs> all right, and that is the finished product. Thank y'all so much for coming along with me on this revitalization reset of my room. I feel like this already looks and feels a lot better to be in, and I am so happy with it, and I hope you are too. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think of it, and I will see you again on the next one. Bye! <laughs>